Hello. I still hate ad breaks. <laughs> ah! I hate them. Um, hi! Hello. I'm drawing. Oh my god. Who could have seen this coming? <laughs> um, I'm gonna be finishing up this piece, probably. And then I might be working on some anime to the emotes. I have one idea. Um, I have three more spaces. Um, that's what I've got right now. Wahoo! Wahoi! <laughs> yeah, it's probably gonna be a bit of a quiet stream. Um, did, did, did. Hopefully you can hear me properly in the first place. Ah! And maybe you can hear Cello too. I might actually have to put him to bed soon. He's found me kind of grumpy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, um, I haven't touched this piece in a couple days. Uh, ooh, ooh, where was I? That's everything. I'm back. Uh, okay, there we go. That's, that's the one I need. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much the only thing I need to do on this one is, uh, shade and render it. So, no. Oh. Yeah. Yippee. Um, there's gonna be gaps that I miss, but whatever, man. Um. So, yeah, I started this a few days ago. Um, I started this, like, a week ago. Um. <laughs> I, I keep procrastinating it. Hey Meowie! Hey Shatter! Whoa! Um, I'm okay. Um, my dad is- Oh my god, Cello. My dad's in hospital. Um, he's gonna be there until Saturday. So that's fun. <laughs> um, but I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm chilling. Uh, things going on. And I just want to work on stuff. I would play- Final Fantasy XIV, but the maintenance is not happening. So, uh, hi, Grilson. Hello. What? What? <laughs> Why is it? Why is it? How am I staying? I'm okay. I'm, uh, I was very sleepy earlier. Why is this on slow mode? What the fuck? Is it? Hold on. What's going on here? No, no, you have more made a typo. Okay. Maintenance on real. No, this is, this is surreal. <laughs> it's like, oh, I want to play games. I do, actually, I do, I did get um, Slay the Princess, which I, I've watched other people play, but, you know, it's one of those games where, uh, you know, it depends how you play it. So there's a lot of stuff I haven't seen in it. I bought it the other day, so I might, if I don't feel like, Drawing later, I might switch to it for a little bit. For eight hours. I only have to catch up for Dawn Trail, so that's nice. Yay! <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> um, I am looking forward to it. Have you seen the ads that they're doing? They're going fucking insane with it. Oh my god, chill. I actually might have to... I was gonna put him to bed while I was still on the loading screen, and then I forgot. <laughs> I might do that, actually. Hold on. Just in time, cut up at midnight. Oh god. Hold on, let me mute my mic for a sec. Ah! <laughs> Tell us sounds fun today. I- he's kind of just beat about. <laughs> uh, how am I doing? I could be better, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, things could be better, but I'm coping. Uh, I'm- I'm livid. <laughs> you know... It is what it is. <laughs> um... But yeah, fun stuff. I was- I was gonna stream a little earlier, but, um, cause just my- cause I'm at my parents' house right now. What the- What was that noise? What the fuck? What? That was really weird. What the hell? Um... 
What was I saying? Yeah, I, I was gonna come on earlier and then, uh, because it's- I'm at my parents' house right now, um, and I will be for July. <laughs> um, but it's just my mom and I today, because my brother's out with his friends and my dad's in the hospital, so, uh, we were having takeout and just- we were watching Invincible, um, which I, I've watched- well, I've watched the first season. I haven't actually seen any of the second season yet, because I was waiting for it all to come out, and then I kind of forgot. <laughs> Let's go, Invincible! Yeah, I need to watch the second season. Um, I need to watch the second season a lot. It's always the second season. Like, I'll, I'll enjoy, I'll fucking love a show, and I'll just kind of forget about it. <laughs> By the time the second season comes out, I'll just be like, oops. Oopsie. Uh, but yeah, so. Things are going... Um, you know, climbing. I gave blood yesterday. That was fun to lift a PC down the stairs directly after. They do, in fact. Oh, why? Am, why is my model freaking out? <laughs> the missile is really strong. I'm alternating between that and Superman and Splitwash. I haven't watched any of the new Superman show actually. I I do follow. Uh, I've, I've followed one of the storyboard artists on it for years, so I've seen like little bits and pieces, but I haven't actually sat down and watched any of it properly. So I don't have like any context aside from why- I, aside from like my existing uh, Superman knowledge. Superman's very slice of life. Hey, I like that. <laughs> I like a little slice of life. Uh, but yeah, I, I was mostly waiting on all of, uh... Uh, oh, my burn is very off today. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you really should adore their interpretation of the characters. Clark is very humble code. I have seen like little bits of it. Just I haven't sat down and watched it. Um, actually, I need to figure out what is actually on here because they like to do this funny little thing. I just realized I forgot to put Kara's skin here. Oops. Oopsie. There's always one thing. There's always something. There's your skin. There it is. There you go, girl. <laughs> yeah, um... I don't know. I still have to watch Fox Mac in a season two as well. I watched a little bit of it, but uh, I was... I think it... When did it come out? I was like really busy around the time it came out, so I just didn't get around to it. I think it... I think it came out while I was like. I'm gonna fill it in, that's really bothering me actually. Um, it came out around the time I was like finishing up my degree. So, <laughs> uh, I think it was while I was working on like my dissertation stuff. So I was, you know, a little bit uh, less than available. <laughs> but yeah, I, now that they've announced the season three, I'm like, shit, I need to finish that. Um,. Which by finishing, I mean restart from the beginning of season two, because I do not fucking remember anything. I, I vaguely remember there was like another party and they were in like a temple and I think that's about as far as I got. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm behind a lot of shows. I also still need to watch... <laughs> it's been a couple of years since it came out, but I still need to watch uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine's last season. Because, like, Brooklyn Nine-Nine is one of my favorite shows, <laughs> but, um, what hap- Because they do this- they do this thing when it comes to the UK that I, I need Americans to understand. They like to, like, super delay shows for, like, a full year after they come out before they put them anywhere available for, like, the UK or anywhere else, and it becomes a fucking nightmare. It's just like, I just want to watch the show. I just want to watch the show. God fucking damn it. <laughs> um, so they didn't come out with it uh, in the UK for ages. And I didn't have a VPN at the time it came out to watch it uh, on like US Netflix. <laughs> Which I could do now if I wanted to. Like I have one now. Um, but it's just like, oh my god. Because it's like, by the time a lot of shows come out, even if I fucking love them, like, I, I have other shit to do. <laughs> I 
they don't they don't really see when they come out either. They don't like advertising it. <laughs> so it's just like it's like I they do it with um God, I also need to watch the latest season of uh, What We Do in the Shadows as well. <laughs> they came out with that, like, right after I finished, um, what, season 4, I think? Um, it's my son of a because, like, they, de they delayed the British release of season 4 for ages as well. <laughs> and then they just didn't bother delaying the last season? Or, well, season 5, so it's just like, okay! <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know why they like doing that. It it throws you off so bad, honestly. There's so much stuff I need to watch. It's like at the point of um, like it, it gives me so much dread. Like there's so much. So much. <laughs> they just don't tell you when they come out because they hate advertising and they hate actually having to justify renewing a show that's popular <laughs> i love i love the television industry it's so cool <laughs> can you tell <laughs> yeah um bleh. But yeah I'm, I'm very all over the place right now so i'm sorry if my my uh if i come off on tangents Essentially, my life is a—it's uh, going, it's going places that I did not see coming. <laughs> Are we out here? <laughs> yeah, I just want to get this one finished off. Um, need to do the other uh, EN groups, but. I haven't even sketched those out yet. Fantastic, by the way. Thank you. I'm doing my best with their complicated ass designs and actually kind of a struggle to find uh, references for some reason. There's so much. There's so many fucking AI results that pop up, and I'm like, no, I just want like a decent resolution, still image, like a normal one of their models. For fuck's sake! <laughs> well, you haven't watched TV actively in like a decade with one exception. I mean, mood, honestly. Um, but what's the exception? I am more of a YouTube watcher, to be honest. Um, I watch- I watch YouTube a lot more often than I watch TV, but... Eh, you know. It'd be how it'd be. Oops. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Mystery Science Theater 3000. I don't think I've heard of that. What was that? Just like watching cartoons, yeah. Most of, if I'm watching anything that's like actual TV shows, like proper budget, it's probably a cartoon. <laughs> a show about people talking over the movie. Oh, interesting. That sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I'll look into that later. Oh, there's so much stuff I already need to watch. I don't need to add things to my watch list. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> While we were looking for stuff to watch earlier, my mom was like, "Do you, do you watch anything that isn't cartoons?" It's like, yeah, just not on streaming services, really. Probably the only series whose feature film is shorter than the average episode. <laughs> We do love that. That's quite funny. Um, yeah, I, I was saying to my mom, like, yeah, I mean, no, because <laughs> most of the live action stuff I watch is on YouTube. But I don't know. I feel like if I'm going on a streaming service, I, I just, I just don't care about a whole lot of live action shows. It's like I think the only ones I tend to care about are the ones that. Um, if they're like, um, what the fuck are they called? I don't remember what they're called right now. Um, oh, it starts with an S. What the fuck? They're called shit. Um, 
See, my brain keeps coming to satire, but that's not it. That's a that's a very different thing from what I'm meaning. Um, uh, s -s 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 it starts with an S, and I, I can't think of the word right now. Uh, <laughs> what Brooklyn Nine Nine and The Office and stuff are, <laughs> basically. Um, it's like my my live action shows that I watch are few and far between, and they. I don't know. Peacock? <laughs> Sitcoms! That's the word. Thank you. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> I think sitcoms are just about the only shows I tend to watch. I guess, I guess The Good Place isn't really a sitcom though. The Good Place is one of those shows that's like my comfort watch. I tend to watch that like, I tend to rewatch that quite often um, when I'm busy with stuff. It was like my, um, Submission time show during university. <laughs> um, so I just binge watch it uh, when I was like super stressed. Um, I guess that's not really a sitcom. Eh, I guess. I guess it could be. It's not really though, is it? I guess. Oh, one of the other ones. One of the other few live action shows I've watched. And it is, I only even watched this because I was with my parents at the time. Uh, and they decided to watch it because they were like, oh, that seems interesting. Um, it's actually, like, kind of become one of, uh, one of the shows I, I do actually quite like. And I do recommend to people because I, I, I never see it talked about ever. Um, and I feel like a lot of people just didn't, didn't see it. But I think it's really good. It's um, Medical Police. It's such a stupid show. <laughs> it's so dumb. I love it. Um, it's... Oh god. It's such a stupid show. Um, it's... I don't even know how to describe medical police. Um, I don't even know. It's... That one is quite comedic. Um, I mean, it, I say quite comedic. It is a comedy. It, it's a, it's an absurdist comedy. <laughs> Which is, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. And it threw me off so bad from what I was expecting that I just, I kind of love it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I feel like my tastes in live action are quite funny. Um, I don't know, I, f I feel like I struggle to get- I can't really get into, like, super serious live-action shows, they just kind of feel weird to me. <laughs> um, it's like, I can get into serious cartoons, I can't get into serious- I can't get into serious live-action shows. They just don't appeal to me. I think it, it might be the the uh, live action aspects just like throws it off to me because it, it makes it a lot more uh, uninteresting. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They just don't really appeal to me much. I also find out- I, I found out the other day, um... So like, for context, Code Geass is probably my favorite anime ever. Um, and I am so annoyed at the fact that I only just found out that there's a sequel series that just started on Disney and they just- they didn't fucking advertise it. I only found out because of Twitter. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, at least with the movies, I found out about those. Not their advertisements, mind you. I, t I don't even remember how I found out about those. I never finished them, though. I do need to go back and finish, like, all the other... stuff. <laughs> all the other stuff and things with Cookie Ass. I never watched a lot of the, um... extra media stuff that they had. This kid was butt. Iwawa. Iwawa. Um, I don't know. I, I watched like 
I think I watched like one and a half of the movies. <laughs> uh, the Akito movies, but I never really got into them. I think, I think the main appeal of like, Bogias was how compelling Lelouch was as a character, and Akito did not. I don't remember shit about Akito. I just did not care. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, the, I think the thing with, um, in those movies, because they had, like, the weird thing where it was Lelouch, but it wasn't Lelouch. I, I mean, I never finished the movies to find out what the fuck was going on with that, but, like, I don't, I wasn't, mm -mm. <laughs> I was just like, okay. <laughs> um... And there was like Lelouch of the Resurrection, I was like, I, I, I don't, I'm not sure I like that implication. <laughs> I, I feel like that kind of wrecks it a little, you know? So I don't think I never, I, I don't think I ever uh, watched that. Or whatever it was, I don't even know, I don't, I just remember hearing the name Lelouch of the Resurrection, I was like, mm. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> I love Lelouch, but keep him dead. For God's sake. <laughs> he doesn't need to come back. That kind of wrecks the point to me. I don't know. I'm, I'm interested in, um... Was it, it was Rosé or something? Rosé of the Rebellion? Something like that. And it's only got one episode out, so I don't know. I guess I'll check it out at some point. Because now I am kind of curious, but I feel like I do need to catch up on <laughs> whatever stuff I've missed. Maybe like a gacha game as well or something. <laughs> I feel like I remember seeing that. I was, I was always just like, what the fuck? What? Like, I know, I know, I understand the principle of like, Gacha games sell well, so everything must have a gacha game. But why does it need a gacha game? <laughs> it was something like that. I swear to god, I saw it. I, it. I swear it existed. I don't know if it still exists, but I swear it existed. <laughs> like, okay. Go all. <laughs> I guess? Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. Just like... Disney gets to have one of the most popular anime IPs. Like, the 2000s. And they don't advertise it. Okay. Good job, Disney. That's so cool of you. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, what is their problem? <laughs> Fucked up. They just they want to fucking advertise them, man. And then they kill shows because no one knows they exist, so they don't do well. I was like, uh, um, uh, I don't know. Maybe people knew it existed. Why should a random Twitter user have to do your job for you? <laughs> what the fuck? Today on Navi complains about modern television. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck's going on? Huh? Like usual. Yeah, like usual. Just <laughs> bro. Like, seriously, a, a random Twitter user should not have to advertise your show for you. What the fuck? <laughs> so silly. I do want to watch it now. I want to see what's, what's up. I want to see what the fuck is up. <laughs> um... There is a- so like, 
The thing for uh, this piece here is there is a back version um, because it's for a notebook. I don't know if it, it's uh, visible enough to see the title of the file. I don't know. Um, you might be able to see it, but it's for notebooks. I'll probably also do prints as well because I think it should fit on any four. Um, but like. It's meant for notebooks, <laughs> uh, so it has a back thing that I have to do as well. Um, where's your hair? There you are. Um, I haven't done any of that yet, uh, so bear in mind there's that. And I guess I'll decide if I want to do the animated emote or if I want to play video game. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. I want to get more loose about like switching up what I want to do midstream. <laughs> um, this is something I've always struggled with. Um, like, I don't know. Like, the idea of uh, fucking my, up, my own uh, individual schedule up just throws me off. <laughs> In my brain, I'm like, oh, if I'm doing art, I should be doing art the whole stream. It's like, no, I don't have to do that, actually. Believe it or not, I have personal freedom. <laughs> I am not being held to anything in particular. Yeah, um... I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow as well. Um, we'll see. Uh, because I don't have anything to do tomorrow, really. I don't think- I don't think we're visiting my dad or anything. Uh, because he's getting tests tomorrow. And the actual thing he's going in for is on Friday. So, yippee. <laughs> um, I don't think- I don't know. I don't- <laughs> um, I have a lot of new things to worry about, though, that I kind of didn't really need, but, you know, can't control that. Um, hey, okay, cool timing. Um, because I have a convention in, uh, late September. And so, the only thing now is, um, I, I am very glad that I asked my brother to come with me rather than my mom. <laughs> um, I don't- I probably would have had to switch to my brother anyway, um, given all of this. Um, but now it's like, uh, how do we- how do we go about this now? Um, because- I love when the ad breaks just do not fucking warn me like they're supposed to. What the fuck? What is up with that? Stop! Tut. Ad breaks are my hated. But I have to do them or else pre-rolls happen. <laughs> so why is it still showing a slow mode? What the fuck? Okay, now it's no longer showing a slow mode. Wait, I don't have to... What? You can go... I'm just messing about with things now. <laughs> Hurry up, ads. Hurry up. There you go. Okay. Fucking hell. It doesn't warn me anymore. It's it's supposed to warn me and it never does. <laughs> uh. 
um, what was it saying? Um, yeah. The new thing to work out is because, uh, my dad might be immunocompromised around, uh, the time of that convention. Um, we don't know yet, uh, cause we don't know, um, <laughs> we don't know the schedule for everything, so it's like, uh, okay. <laughs> But like, obviously conventions are mass spreader events. I'm not too worried about myself because like, I don't live with my parents. Albeit, my birthday is the week after and I might have another convention the week after depending on if I get into it. Which would be here. Um, so it's just like, okay, I don't know how to work this out. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go. Um... <sighs> so it's new fun things. In a point in my life where I'm already trying to figure fucking everything out. <laughs> okay, great, thanks. So, super cool timing for me. Um, I'm just like, cool. Yay, scheduling! Hey! <laughs> Not even scheduling, we can. But, like. Just cause, um. We don't know. We just, we just- we don't know yet when- Like, what the- We know what the plan is, like, overall. But, like, we don't know when. So it's like, um... Uh, because... I mean, the TLDR is uh, my... Dad is, a uh, sick. <laughs> um, to put it lightly. Um... So it's a whole new thing. Um, whole thing to work out while he's getting treatment. Um, which is really well timed with me starting to do conventions. <laughs> like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, but yeah. So it was like, I had a plan for like, how I would be handling the next few months, and then it's all being thrown into question now. Just like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, just when I thought I was starting to get, like, slightly comfortable with, uh, life after university. No. No. -uh. No. Not allowed. Illegal. New thing. <laughs> New problems. Can't catch a break. Well, obviously it's not me who's having, like, the actual issues, but, you know, it it does have an impact, you know? Um... It, it has that extra bonus impact on my scheduling as well, it's just like, okay. And, like, how I go about things. Like, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> but, yeah. We figure things out. <laughs> but for now, it's just like, okay. Yay. <laughs> um, I don't know, I might end up... I don't know, actually. Uh, I don't know. I, I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's... The fuck is going on now at this point? Um, but yippee conventions. <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure it out because um, my animation freelance is not stable right now at all. Um, uh, it's like okay, well I figure I'll do conventions because clearly I can't get into them. I just need to like keep on top of like applying to them. Um. Though my wallet hurts a little bit, but it's fine. Um, it's fine for now. Um, and yeah, I've got the online shop now. That's cool. That's that exists now. Yay! Uh, I need to figure out how to actually go about advertising that more. Um, to try and get out of like my immediate circle, but just, Twitter hates me, man. <laughs> Twitter just does not like me. Maybe it's because I keep calling it Twitter, but like... <laughs> I don't know. But, um... 
yeah, for context, this thing, um, as I mentioned, it's gonna be a notebook, um, so I'll be debuting it. Well, the plan is, anyway, I'll have to see if I can actually, like, order everything. <laughs> um, cause, you know, finances. Um, but my plan is to have this available in, or at Acme Autumn. Um, in September, and then if I have any left over, they'll be going up on the online shop. But that's that's an if. It depends. <laughs> I'm not making that many. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I need to figure out how much I need to print extra of everything as well. Um. You know. So like my my last convention was like my tester of general convention crap for Quiet Con and now I get to fuck around and find out with the um going up going somewhere else for convention that is actually really big. Um <laughs> so I actually I, I genuinely don't know how much to print. Um it's also a two-day con, and it's also the biggest one in Scotland, so I'm like... Okay. <laughs> I think it's the biggest one in Scotland. It's like the big one everyone knows. How is my art going? Well, I'm shading. <laughs> We're slowly shading. It takes a minute. It takes a, it takes a wild amount of time for a few characters. I don't know. I'll probably have the shading done in like an hour and a half or something. Um... But, aside from that, I have actually been somewhat productive the past couple of days. I was really unproductive for like, a few days. So I started this on like, Tuesday I think. It was Monday or Tuesday, I'm not actually sure which. Um, and then I, I got bad news and I, I, I wasn't quite in the mood to draw for a little bit, but it's, it's coming back now. Um, I'm feeling less at the end of my wits. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know. Still got stuff going on. Maybe just my dad I need to worry about, but it's like, okay, just fucking everyone in my family's getting life-threatening shit going on right now, I guess. What the fuck? <laughs> Everyone's having, like, medical nonsense at the same time. Um... Yeah, you yeah, know, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting my motivation back. Um... I did quite a lot yesterday and the day before. So, like... It could, could be worse. It's going. <laughs> um... I need to... There's something else I want to make is, um wood pins um which I think I think I want to do dungeon mashy for I think that's that's what's on my in my head for wood pins but I haven't like sketched anything out yet so dungeon mashy yeah cuz I had like the bookmarks um, but I want Something else. <laughs> I want more dungeon meshy stuff. Uh, I want to do some. I want to do at least one dungeon meshy like print, like a, another one um, that's a bit more scenic. But I'm mean, gonna have time. Uh, that would probably be the last priority out of everything. Um, I don't know. I got. I have stuff I need to. I want to do, but like I need to be kind of reasonable because I don't have the most finances right now. Um, so yeah, I and mean, right now I'm kind of waiting on my uh, universal credit payment for this month um, to top me back up a bit. Because um, while I didn't technically make a loss at um, the my first con, like I didn't make a whole lot either. Like, I made enough to cover my table cost. If I'd... 
had to stay in a hotel rather than it being like really close to where I live, I probably would have lost money. Or I almost definitely would have lost money, actually. Um, but I mean, I didn't, <laughs> but, you know, it's something to figure out. Um, but I, I, I highly suspect that um, Acme Autumn will go significantly better on that front. I just don't know how much better, and I do need to make sure I actually have enough to um, get food <laughs> during that weekend. Um, because I, I just realized one thing is coming off. Ooh. Make me smaller. There we go. No, I'm no longer cutting off. Cool. My effect. Um. Yeah, I need to make sure I have enough for um. Like basic living expenses, even during that weekend. <laughs> um. So yeah, I don't know. Um, um, there's a lot. I just realized I didn't, I didn't color Kelly's thing in there. Oopsie. Hold on. That's your jacket there. My bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I might work on some of that on stream. Uh, we'll see. We will see. Um, it just depends. I I need to figure out what's like a reasonable amount of stuff that I can actually afford to produce. Cause yeah, and also like I can actually bring with me. That's the secondary thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, mm, lots lots of logistics stuff. So. We live in. We vibe in. <laughs> we doing our best. And really, um. Playing Kiwawa here. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remain productive, if only uh, to keep myself busy. Because if I don't keep myself busy, I go into crisis. <laughs> so <laughs> That's not a joke, actually. Um, I shouldn't joke about that, because that, that is actually a thing with me. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to keep busy and just keep trucking on. Um, but I, I have a meeting with my caseworker um, in a few days. Uh, so, like, for business stuff, I, I guess I'll be talking about some of it with her. Try to see if there's... I don't know if there's any help I can get with it or something. I don't feel like there is much help. Where? I don't know. I don't really know what they could help me with. Unless they could point me towards, like, a grant thing. And even that, I feel like I feel really weird about that. <laughs> I don't feel like... Mm. Um, oh, I do actually, I do have a little project that's semi in the works. I haven't actually put it into the process yet. Because I, I just have, I have too much going on to like really fully commit to a project like that. But I do, I am working on like the pre off. you know um like early plans uh for a little short film thing um which should just be me and maybe my flatmate and anyone else they might be able to get on board but probably mostly me <laughs> um but yeah I, i've got too much going on to like commit to it but like i have it i have i have a start to it um so I don't know, you might end up seeing some of that get worked on at some point? A question mark? Probably not anytime super soon. Like I say, it's, it's like super early. Um, I guess that's the sort of thing that I might actually be able to get crowned for, maybe. <laughs> what if I just fu 
what if I just fucked around and I'm like, I can't find any steady freelance work, so what if I just made my own? <laughs> what if I made my own studio, guys? Would that be fucked up or what? <laughs> I could, though. I could fuck around and do that. <laughs> but probably not right now. I, I feel like that's a little much right now. Even for me. <laughs> I don't know. It's the sort of thing that I suppose I'll be talking with my caseworker with. Um, just be like, yeah, stuff that I don't have the mental energy to produce right now. I feel like, I feel like the one thing I'd really need is I'd need someone. I need to rip someone in for production management because I'm not a production manager. <laughs> so you know. Oh, I mean, I have some idea. I don't know, maybe I could do production management. If it's self-production as well. I don't know. Maybe I just get my flatmate on that. <laughs> They're probably a bit more geared towards it than I am. But, yeah, I have actually, like, genuinely, um... I've done a little bit of character design sketches, and I've done... Like half a storyboard. I'm not a storyboarder, uh, but I have I have thumbnailed a little bit. I don't know if I want to split it up into like more mini episodes. I might do that because that might be more manageable than one longer short film. I don't know. Like I said, it's it's like super. You won't see, you would not see it in like the next year. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> At least not, like, anything finished. Um. So. I don't know. I have- I've got stuff going. And I have stuff that I want to get going. And it's just a very precarious, uh, balancing act right now. Of what I can- most crucially, afford to do. <laughs> that, that's like the most crucial thing. It's like I I can't afford to do all that much, but I I want to do stuff. I want to do things. But yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm doing things. I'm existing. So I might go to the bathroom real quick, actually. Does my, my tummy feel a little upset, so I think I need to go <laughs> sooner rather than later. I'll be back in a little bit.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> my, uh... My, uh... I, uh yeah, that... That feels better. <laughs> my tummy hurted, and now it no longer hurts. <laughs> so, yippee. <laughs> And then back to drawing. I, was, I didn't realize that you could now uh, link in an Instagram story, like, without... So I, I think it used to be, like, you used to have to be, like, verified or something. And then you could just link. It's like, oh shit, that's crazy. <laughs> wow, a basic function. <laughs> oh my god. A basic function is now available to me. Hello, me. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, hippie. I don't want to shade Goomba's hair. <laughs> I don't want to shade Goomba's hair. No. <laughs> It's so much. <sighs> but I guess I'll do it. If I have to. <sighs> One of the fun things I always find when I'm watching stuff with my mom is um she doesn't have like the best media literacy. Um, it's really weird. <laughs> she just she just doesn't notice a lot of data a lot of details. I'm like, huh? How how did you not notice that? <laughs> Um, I, I really noticed it earlier with them um, watching Invincible, because she was really confused about Nolan. <laughs> it was like, oh, but like during the scene, you know the scene where he, he like goes into the alien portals and then just like fucking demolishes them? And like one of the specific things he says is, Earth is not yours to conquer. And she was so confused because she's like, he seems like a nice guy, so why would he attack the Guardians? I'm like... You, you just got told why. Pretty much. <laughs> it's just You just got a hit of it. Huh? <laughs> this is sitting there like, did you hear what he said? Instantly interpreted that it was his con- Yeah! It's not unclear. <laughs> I mean, he, he says it very... Like, the line delivery is, like, quite good on it. He, he emphasizes yours. <laughs> it's like... Mom? Mom? Mom. <laughs> it's like, I get that you wouldn't necessarily figure out his whole shtick from that, but it's like... I don't know. I, <laughs> I just I catch stuff like that with my mom every so often. I'm just like it's basic, you know. Like she she reads a lot, and you you think she'd like it, you don't know, notice things a bit more. But I don't know. Just not really. She don't watch a lot of TV shows. It's just media literacy, I think. She does watch a lot of TV shows. Oh, for fuck's sake, I break in a bit. Fuck. Um. Now it's warning me. Like, ugh. yeah, no, she she does watch a lot of TV shows. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I was just kind of like, eh. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, think about why an alien would want to destroy the guardians of a world. It's like, shit. <laughs> Oh, 
She was asking me, like, well, do they ever figure out that it's him? It's like, well, yeah, it's a major plot thing in the first season for a reason. Uh, <laughs> um, we got to like four episodes in or something. It's like, okay. <laughs> it, it is what it is, though. Hmm? Just an interesting experience. <laughs> and other times she picks up on like stuff before I do, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think she's just not the best at reading into things, I suppose. It's just like I don't know, yeah, she she doesn't really read into things a lot. Even when that's kind of the intention. But I think she's very much a literal, a more literal, um, reader of media in general. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Fucking ad break. <laughs> get more uh, new stream music. I'm getting kind of tired of this one. I probably have some. I probably have some laying about. I don't know. I was having like a pretty flick from like fan fancy music. But... Over. Yippee! Yeah, um, I was just saying, I was... I want to get more, um, background music. New background music. Um, I was having a look for, like, um, of course, 14 instrumentals. But I don't want to link, like, some random persons, you know? <laughs> but... I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting kind of bored of this one. I wanted to like try and find a medley, but it's like all the medleys are obviously made by other people, so it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I I could probably just shove on um. Uh. I could shove something on on YouTube, I suppose. I could just grab a playlist. <laughs> but, you know, it gets a little mind numbing having the same music on all the time, you know? I'm a little sick of it. Yeah, I might grab something right now, actually. Let's see. Uh. Look at that! Markiplier just uploaded a third part to Slay the Princess series. Uh, I'm looking for an instrumental. I was like trying to find a clean one, you know? Uh, 
because that could work, actually. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me turn this off. Turn that on. I think. Uh. And. What's that? Is that picking up? Ah. Uh, am I louder than it? <laughs> or is it too loud? I might be a bit too loud, actually. Sounds about loud. It's nice. It's the older music. I, I've just grabbed like a random playlist of uh, calm and relaxing Final Fantasy XIV music. E. I'll probably try and download some of the instrumental stuff. Um, I don't want to grab anything with like actual singing in it. But. E. Um, I've had, like, flow and answers stuck on my head for the past couple of days. <laughs> I know there's, um, an instrumental for answers that I saw earlier. I might end up grabbing that, it's quite chill. I don't know, see where this, this music gets us. <laughs> I don't know. Can you tell that I'm missing 14 while I can't play it? <laughs> I'm just like, I want to play 14, but it's on maintenance. I must have more feels than this. I know. It's only two days, though. I'll survive. I'll live. So I gotta, I gotta scratch the itch, you know. If I, if I listen to the town themes, it's almost like I'm playing. <laughs> it's almost on the bright side. Um, once early access is out, I'm I'm gonna be gone. Like, <laughs> you will not see me. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna stream any of, um, Early Access. Um, I might- I might stream when the raids get patched in. Um, which is like... What is it? It's like the 8th or 9th or something that that's supposed to happen, I think? I don't know, I need to check. Um, but I might stream when those get added. Fair enough, my princess is going to a cave for a week when the other comes up. Yeah, that's pretty much gonna be me. I'm gonna take vacation days for it. Yeah, a lot of people do that actually. It's quite funny. Um Yeah, like I I'm I'm gonna be gone. Um yeah, I, I might stream when Well I'll probably stream for art fight stuff. Uh so like my plan is probably the first four days or so. Um, I'll be playing it, I'm trying to get through as much as I can, and then I'll be, like, getting a bit more casual with it after that, uh, cause I wanna, I wanna stream mostly art fight stuff, and art fight starts on the first. Um, no streams on the second, cause it'll be my brother's birthday and we're presumably doing something. Um, probably. I'm probably going out for dinner or something. So probably no stream because I'm probably gonna be tired. <laughs> um But yeah, I don't know. We'll see how long it takes me to get through it. I don't know. I've sped through uh some expansions within a week or two before, so and that was with me just playing every evening, not even all day. <laughs> So we'll see. We'll see. 
I suppose login keys are gonna be uh, the extra bonus thing that's gonna uh, cause more issues. <laughs> that's like the extra thing. Um, it's gonna take a couple of weeks for login keys for, to ease up. Um, so <laughs> probably best not to try and stream it. It probably won't help me. <laughs> God forbid the internet goes out. I, I will commit something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm pretty... I'm pretty much a gorilla streamer at this point. Um, I, I don't make schedules, I just stream when I feel like it. <laughs> and I think that's how it should be um, for me. But I will be streaming a bit more in July. Probably a lot more in July. Um, oh, also, that animated emote got approved. Um, you can now do this. <laughs> I kind of wish I had uh, rigged a thong sticking out thing, but I'm too lazy for that shit. <laughs> Now in that's one more new animated emo in out of uh I can't another three and then I need my Twitch alerts to be used to get two more <laughs> two more slots. It's uh annoying, I suppose. Like, well I have it set up, I don't Oh that was a bit sudden. <laughs> I see. Can could have at least I don't know faded out or something. I don't know, man. Oh, it's looking so good. Hello, hello, welcome. Thank you very much. Um, just just trying to figure uh, finish it up. Here's the full thing so far. Um, it's for notebooks. <laughs> uh, there's a back panel as well that I haven't done like any work on. It's just a sketch. So once this is done, uh, this side, I'll be doing that. Well, it shouldn't take too long because it's just like a few chibis. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if I'll actually do that today. Um, I might do that in my own time because uh, I do want to work on some animated emotes. Um, I think. That or... I don't know, fuck off and play a game. I don't know. <laughs> Depending on what I'm feeling. Um, and how long this takes, I suppose. More so. Yeah. We're vibing. We're chilling. God, the music actually feels quite loud in my ear. <laughs> but I think it's a, an okay level for you guys. I don't know. It looks fine on my uh, little thing here. I think. I think my voice goes louder, so. Oh, I missed my big water bottle. <laughs> it's the one thing I can't take with me to my parents. <laughs> I just have to, I just ha I have to have a normal sized water bottle and it's awful. <laughs> I don't have nearly enough water in it. It doesn't help that it's quite warm right now. Ooh. Okay. Oh. I didn't shade this. <laughs> Yes. 
Why does it seem so red? Huh, oh, okay. Well, the same color, so I don't know. I guess it's just a bit darker there. What the fuck? I don't remember this part of it. <laughs> Not that instrument, anyway. What the hell? I mean, sure, I guess so. Okay. I do not recall harmonica being in the Gridania theme. I think that's the Gridania theme. Yeah. I do not remember there being a harmonica in there. <laughs> well, I suppose I haven't spent a whole lot of time in Gridania specifically. But... What the hell? <laughs> That caught me so off guard. I feel so dehydrated for no reason. <laughs> no good reason. What the hell? I, mean, I know it's warm, but it's not that warm inside here. I guess it's kind of warm, but like. What the hell? I'm chilling with water with this weather. Yeah. It's so annoying because usually when I stream I have I have a massive water bottle um back home. But I have my parents right now, so I can take that with me. Uh, so I just have a normal sized water bottle and it's terrible for streaming. <laughs> I'm like dehydrated all the time at the best of times. Just like, oh no. Not the heat. How dare I need to drink even more water? <laughs> the water. Get a bucket. <laughs> I don't think there's any clean buckets about. I'm gonna be so for real. <laughs> if there's any buckets here in this house, they were probably used. For my motion sickness, <laughs> I'm gonna be so for real. <laughs> they were probably used for my motion sickness when I was a kid, and I don't think I want to drink water out of those. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Extra flavor? No, I don't think we even have them anymore. I'd probably be thrown up by now. <laughs> eh. Not the sick bucket. <laughs> I'm back. Get my OBS back. What the hell? Do, 
I wonder what expansion this playlist actually goes up to. Music wise. I didn't actually check it. <laughs> I just kind of grabbed it. Making Amy look ginger, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the shading. It's so funny though, she's so stark white compared to everyone else. <laughs> like, everyone else is pale, but Amy's color palette. Holy shit, she looks so pale compared to everyone else. I never noticed it until I had to color pick. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, every time I think of, like, drank enough water to offset all the dehydration. No, it's never enough. It's the constant yapping. No, I have to yap. It's the streamer part of streaming. <laughs> Question mark? These are different. <laughs> These are different from what I remember them sounding like. Hello. Hello. I have to get more water in a bit. I don't think I have that much left. <laughs> oh dear. Be warm. How oh, dare I need hydration? Oh, <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. I haven't been in the stream for ages. I don't know what you Yeah, you wouldn't have been because I haven't done a lot of streaming in the past like nine months. I didn't stream like two weeks ago, and the second that I hadn't streamed in nine months, so <laughs> you wouldn't have been in for a while. Um. Yeah, uh, like the later days of Scotland shouldn't be this hot. No, it shouldn't be. <laughs> it's hell. It's, uh, ugh. We're not built for this. We're not built for any weather. <laughs> Except rain, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know. I could be better. <laughs> but. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Things are going. I'm doing things and stuff. And really tempting to get to be honest, anything but non stop rain and burden is utterly unimaginable to you. You know, sometimes I think it's unimaginable to me too. And then other weather happens and we're caught completely off guard and it's like, oh well, guess we'll die.
We'll complain about the weather no matter what it is. <laughs> Let me eat B. I already took a big fat nap earlier. <laughs> I shouldn't be this tired. saying earlier um i was saying how um one of the so like what i'm drawing right now is for a notebook design i want to do all the other hollow live en uh pens as well but it purely depends on how much energy i have um <laughs> So, yeah. I, I also- I want to do some dungeon mashy wooden pen designs. Um, I'll probably sketch those in my own time though, because I need to figure out what the uh, requirements for those are. <laughs> They're probably the same as like normal pins, but I don't know, I need to double check them. Um, I also just don't want to work on any of those today. To be perfectly real. <laughs> um, I, I'm pretty fucking tired. I'm gonna be so for real. Um, life is like punching me in the face right now. And it has been for like a year. And it just won't stop. <laughs> I, I cannot catch a break. And it just is. Like a million things. Just every time I think something's going smoothly, suddenly like something else happens and throws everything out the window. And it's like, okay, <laughs> great, awesome, wonderful, wunderbar, even. <laughs> Why did I say that so English sounding? What the fuck? Wunderbar. <laughs> Oh. I have taken to saying Wunderbar sometimes, but I don't know why. I don't know why I keep going to it. Like, yes. Ah, oh, yes, Wunderbar. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, I did give blood yesterday, so that might be why I'm so tired today. <laughs> Uh, it's because I'm missing a pint of blood. That would maybe do it. Um, <laughs> I was very tired yesterday because of that. And also because I was uh, getting to my parents and I had to immediately after, just like pick, you know how after you give blood, you're, you're not supposed to do heavy lifting for like a day afterwards at least. You're not really supposed to do it for a couple of days. Um, I didn't really get a choice. <laughs> Cause I had, so I had originally scheduled because I was, I was supposed to go home this weekend, not yesterday, um, but <laughs> my dad basically, um, he had to go to the hospital today, and it, it got scheduled, um, for today, um, and he's supposed to be in there until Saturday, and so my entire planned schedule for that got thrown out the window, um, and so. Uh, I, I had to reschedule. Well, it was. I had to keep it to the same day because otherwise it would be in a different location. But um, like I had to reschedule the time for my blood donation to make it earlier in the day, and I didn't really have a choice um, in the matter. <laughs> um, and so I had to log a heavy fucking PC. I had to log a PC down the flights of stairs. Like, maybe an hour after giving up a pint of my blood. <laughs> it wasn't my choice. It was just, like, really badly... It it wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to have a good few days before I would have to do that. 
<laughs> but it got thrown out the window. I couldn't really significantly reschedule. <laughs> um, bad break is supposed to happen. It's at least warning me now. We like that. We like when it warns me. Who's it likes to like black behind until whenever it decides to actually do it? Twitch, are you doing the ad or not? Twitch? <laughs> Twitch! There we go. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Why did it delay it so bad? What the fuck? Ugh. Seriously. So like use this as a stretching opportunity. Oh! <laughs> oh god, my elbow like, made a snapping noise there. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh lord. I need to get more water. Shit. It's 11 p.m. already. Damn. That's crazy. Are we back? Are we good? Are we live? Or alive, even. I've noticed I, I, I do this thing um, since I've started. Or since I've been learning Italian in the past couple of years. <laughs> I do this thing! So, Italian has this thing where you kind of. Sometimes you drop. Um, I don't know, like. When you say the thing, sometimes you just. You, you don't tend to say it, you tend to. The word changes based on the gender, um, in Italian. And that goes for, like, personal pronouns as well. So I do this thing. <laughs> I've noticed I've started doing this thing in English where, um, I kind of do the same thing, except it doesn't work like that in English. <laughs> so instead of, like, um, am I understanding I'll just go am understanding <laughs> um not like that I guess I, I don't know how to describe it I just kind of drop the personal pronoun sometimes <laughs> um it's, it's something kind of funny I've noticed um that I've been doing more often which is <laughs> a little funny to me I suppose I don't know, I feel like I do that every so often. It's just a bit silly goofy of me. But, I don't know. Silly goofy, silly goofy mode. <laughs> what is this one? Wait, what is this one? Oh, it's Snow Club. That'd be why I've only done that dungeon like once. Oh. <laughs> no more pronouns, the best gender. Real and true. <laughs> so real. 
this I don't know, it's, it's quite funny. Um, it just... Just forget how English works sometimes. Because in, in Italian, a lot of it is for the sake of, like, uh, easing up how much of the sentence you're actually writing or saying. <laughs> um, so I've just gotten into a habit with it. I guess. That's just kind of like slowly easing itself into my English. <laughs> this, I don't know. Something I've noticed myself doing recently. Okay. Uh, I want to play 14 so bad. <laughs> Boy, it's down. It's in maintenance. Bleh. Bleh. Terrible, awful. So tired. God, my back is also being crunched. Oh God, I shouldn't do that. But my back is being crunchy. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I can't stretch my back out in peace without VTube Studio freaking the fuck out. Uh, I should probably. Where's Alnes? Nope, not that. Not that. This? Yes. There we go. Make it a bit easier to fill. There we go. There we go. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, this my phone. Why is it making noise like that? What the fuck? <laughs> Why can't I look down without YouTube Studio freaking out? What is going on? <laughs> My face is like perfectly in the center. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Weirdo. Weirdo program. Bah. <laughs> Honestly, you guys will be glad to know I'm wearing headphones for once and it's hurting my ears. <laughs> or it's hurting my. The one ear I have it in. I can't stand having it in both, to be honest. I need to get like some over ear headphones, but I'm just <sighs> not really willing to spend money on them right now, you know? I'm gonna have a look see soon though. I don't know. I need to go to Tesco in a couple of days to get my brother a birthday card, so maybe I'll have a look. Over ears is why I use it so much better. I, I've had over ears before. Uh, the main reason I stopped wearing them was because I, I used to wear earrings and so they kind of like pushed the pointy bits into the side of my head and it kind of hurt so I stopped using those but I don't wear earrings anymore so yeah I don't know. I just need to like I might have a look when I get to Tesco in a couple days I can <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't know how willing I am to spend money on them right now. Is this is like the main thing? Um, I have bought, bought myself a few things recently, just to be nice to myself. <laughs> um, but I really, I need to keep quite a bit aside. Uh, at the moment. <laughs> So it's like if because I'm really trying to be self reliant, <laughs> actually, as far as I can be, anyway. Ugh. 
Yeah, I might have a look, because these are kind of uncomfortable for this. <laughs> it's one thing when I'm carrying them around just in, e in case I'm uh, in public on a call or something. But it's another thing when I'm at home. Quite finish calling Goomba here. <laughs> or shading, even not coloring. They're already colored. But. Oof. My brain is so all over the place at the moment. <laughs> Shade. Um, I have actually, um, or art by. I finally got around to picking out um, a couple dozen characters or so. Uh, this is, I think I picked out like 11 on each team. Uh, so I have those prepped. Uh, I don't know. I might stream uh, on the first day of it. I'm not sure. Um... Because the thing with Arc Fight is that, um, in the UK it starts at 7pm, so, <laughs> um, any art fighting on the first day has to be, like, late in the day. Um, which is fine for streaming, I suppose. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. It depends how I'm feeling. I want to. Logically, I want to, but... We'll see how the mind prison is feeling. <laughs> Usually wait a day because first day always seems to crash. Yeah, that that's why I um it's why I set I like download um and I make sure I put who I'm downloading it from. Um and I do that like well before day one, so it means that I can actually like work on stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> it means I can work on stuff um, even while the site is down. It should be a little more stable this year in theory because they, they did a bunch of site improvements um, after kicking what's her name out. I say kicking out, they, you know, after the issues with last year. <laughs> um, so the person who formerly ran the site, um, quote unquote quit, but I kind of more so got kicked out. <laughs> um, so in theory, because they have actually now done stuff, so it should be a little more stable. But probably the first couple of hours will still be a bit wonky. Um, but that's that's why, like I I always make sure to save things ahead of time, so it lets me work on stuff um, while the site is down. <laughs> you know, obviously I won't have as much access to references, but it's, it's usually like I might park it on like whoever I. Um, decide to work on first. <laughs> I say park as if it's a car, but like I, I might, I might uh, sell the page on uh, whoever I'm working on first, um, so that I might still be able to access it, even if the site does crash. At least like whenever it's not being temperamental. Cause I remember last year. It was better than usual last year. I did notice. Um, there was a few issues on like the first couple of days, but like there were more periods where you could access things properly. So it wasn't as bad. 
Because it used to be, like, five years ago, that you just straight up couldn't access the site the whole month. <laughs> it, it would be super temperamental, like, the entire month. Um, so it has improved. It has, in fact, gone better. Um, and they, in theory, should have further improved uh, for this year. In theory. But I don't know. We'll see. They do always say to like pre save stuff or in case the site goes down from everyone trying to access it during like the immediate start. Um, but it does it does tend to taper off um, as they get things sorted. So yeah. And it's been okay the past couple of years as well, so like I don't know. I, I find by the time I'm uploading my first, or like last year and I think the year before, by the time I'm uploading my first, um, my first pieces, the site does tend to like be semi-stable. Whereas like, it, it'll like go in and out, but you'll have periods where you can't actually upload stuff. Um, and then it tends to stabilize by like day three or so. And then it's the most consistent. It is pretty consistent after that. Um, so I don't know if there's all that many more people playing this year compared to last year. Because last year was uh, a bit dramatic. <laughs> to say the least. I don't know if you were playing last year. Um, or if you were, like, uh, looking into what was happening. I, I really only had, like, a idea of this, of this situation. <laughs> I wasn't, like, gonna get involved in it or anything. Um, so, like, I just had, like, an over... Like, an overview of what was going on. Uh, but, like, a lot of people decided to basically strike it wasn't a, I don't think it was like a strike but like people decided like uh, I don't think I want to play this year because um, the site owner is being really sketchy this year um, and that caused the whole thing <laughs> um, which now that it's in different hands, like, they they are, like, now taking more donations towards the site. They seem to be a lot more active with trying to improve the site, so... I don't know, I have... I mean, I'm sure there's still gonna be, like, the... Uh, a little messy in the first couple of days because like you never know how many people are gonna actually it's basically the equivalent of ddosing the site right <laughs> every year um i mean that's basically what happens huh uh, this would be my first year probably doing it not gonna lie but i was in the discord last year and it seemed rough and stuff yeah no the staff were having a rough time for sure um on both ends um so obviously they were kind of being fucked over a little bit, but then also they were getting the blame from the community. So it's just a whole mess. Um, but settled now. The main problem person is uh, gone, <laughs> so uh, she's no longer running anything. So it seems to be a bit more. It seems like it's in good hands right now. I think. Um, they've been quite... It was a mess last year. I do remember. Um, so I remember how last minute everything seemed last year. Um, it seems it seems a bit better this year. It seems more planned out. Because... What was it? Like, last year... I remember it being really last minute with the like, theme announcement and stuff. 
I think. I don't know. I don't. I was kind of going through it last year. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I was like really active with the actual game, but like, like my situational awareness was kind of all over the place because I had just graduated, so I was having a time. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I do vaguely remember it being a bit of a mess last year. And we weren't really sure what was going on. That was like the crux of the issue, like, no one knew what the fuck was going on with, with the staff. So it just, it just kept like getting wackier and wackier. But yeah, I, I vaguely remember, uh, I, I am in the Discord, but I have it muted, um, so I only rarely check it. Um, it's pretty much only when they, like, hang everyone, essentially. Um, but yeah. It, I remember last year, during all of it, I was... I think that was the reason I joined the Discord in the first place, was because I was trying to see what the fuck was going on. Um, I remember them, like, disabling a bunch of channels, like, overnight. And just being like, whoa, okay. Something's happening. Um, because they, they disabled a few channels because people were asking too many questions. <laughs> And it was getting a little crazy. Which is entirely fair on the mods. I, I don't think they were necessarily wrong for that, but it was like... Things aren't going great, huh? <laughs> uh, I do remember that. So I think I... I think I actually witnessed them, like, live remove a channel. <laughs> or well, hide one, anyway. I don't think they actually deleted it. But I remember I was like looking for it and then I switched out of it and then I came back and it was gone and I was like, oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she was crazy last year. But it seems like it's going a lot better this year. Which is good. I need to get more water. I don't have very much of it left here. Yeah, that's that gone. Shit. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Uh, let me get the BRB screen up real quick and I'm gonna go get some water, okay?
Okay, I'm back. Uh, let me get that back on again. Yippee! Uh, yeah, there we go. I had a weird thing when I was, like, leaving my room where my, um... Honestly, you know, you grab the handle, you open the door. For some reason, my hand didn't let go. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It, just, it, just, it got stuck there for a second. I was like, uh, oh? <laughs> just didn't do what I wanted it to. I was just, I was standing there confused for a second. Like, huh? Why am I still attached to the door? I let go of the door. But I hadn't let go of the door. <laughs> that was a little weird. I don't know what happened there. Why is my model freaking out? What the fuck? Got that. Nearly done. Nearly done. Just a bit more left to shade. We're getting there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they finally fade out one, and then they decide to blast me with limbs of... Trumpets. What the hell? Fucking rude of them. There's the next ad break coming in. <laughs> Please. Yeah, it was market dues ago. Well, we just saw, sat down to eat dinner. Oh! <laughs> Why are you tweeting for weeks since? Did I just say tweeting? Commenting. <laughs> I hope I hope your dinner is good. I hope it's yummy. You're eating something yummy, right? This is gonna be an ad break. <laughs> just a warning. Here we go. Ad break time whenever it decides to kick in. I don't know why it's so delayed about it. From my phone, Lamella just got you at our dinner table and has jalapeno rice chicken tortillas. Ooh, don't tempt me. 
That sounds so good. Yummy, yummy. I had a Chinese takeaway tonight <laughs> because it's my comfort food. <laughs> and I got to make the choice <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Why isn't it? That break's supposed to start. It'll just kick in whenever the fuck it wants to after counting down. I'm not sure what the point of a countdown is when it's inaccurate. Oh, there it is. <laughs> God, I hate Twitch ads. They're getting way too comfortable. Way too comfortable with throwing ads wherever the fuck they want. I hate it here. Hurry up, ads. Hurry up. Here we go, ad break over. Yay! You know, if I was a good streamer, I'd be like, Oh, you could avoid the ads by subscribing, but no. Ugh. Whatever, man. I hate Twitch ads. I'd turn them off if I could. I don't, I don't even get anything from them. <laughs> the only thing I get is that I don't get pre-rolls and that's it. Wow, we can do that? Wow! Oh my god! Who knew? Uh. <laughs> By the low price of- I don't know how much a sub is currently, actually. I was gonna make- like a stupid advertiser voice. <laughs> I just realized I don't actually know how much <laughs> how much it costs to sub at this point. <laughs> Hope you got two cents from us for that. Yeah, you, I've yeah, a whole two cents, which is not. I don't think that, is that even a penny here. <laughs> we got like point five pennies or something. Like wow. Thanks, Twitch. Oh my god. I don't even see a penny of it. <laughs> I don't even remember the last time I got a Twitch payout. So silly goofy. Unfortunately, I have my emotes. I also need to deal with ads. The rest in fucking peace. <laughs> I can't. This one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the churning mist. Okay. I don't go to the churning mist very often. <laughs> wow. You know the one the one nice thing uh with the new fan is that they only have four people to draw. <laughs> wow. How kind of them. I do wonder why they only went with four. I don't know if it was like to match Advent in a way. Or if they've just decided mm, maybe we should just do four people from now on. <laughs> I wonder. 
I did also find it funny when, um, it's like obviously their financial report uh, came out. And one of the things that was said on it was like, yeah, we're probably not going to be expanding uh, our talents anytime soon. And it was like, oh, no more, uh, no new Hololive English talents. And then everyone was like shocked when they came out with a new gen. I was like, well, yeah, because they had already hired them by that point. <laughs> Doesn't mean there's not like talents waiting to come out. It's just, <laughs> you know, they're probably going to slow down a bit, you know? They're not Niji Sanji. <laughs> They actually give a shit about how many people they need to genuinely support. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, you need to actually support your talents when they debut them? Crazy. I'm excited that we get a new gen, but I also feel so behind. I'm gonna be so for real. I've actually... I, I don't tend to watch their streams. I tend to... Pay attention to what they're doing but i just i i can't keep up with streams a lot although i am i'm trying i'm trying to keep up with rauras like to the extent i can um i'm not sure how long it's gonna last but like i've turned on channel notifications like i'm gonna try i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and watch one of them because i do want to <laughs> because I, I love her art I, I did miss her drawing stream yesterday, and I, I didn't watch their group collab because I was too fucking tired by that point. I stayed up for all of their debuts, but I was like, I'm not. I'm, I'm done as soon as the songs are over. I can't do another hour. <laughs> like, I was exhausted. Um, but I, I am trying to keep up with Rauer because I only keep up close with Mori, but she's been keeping me a chill. She's been nice. Yeah, is it? Isn't she- is she still on a little hiatus right now? I, she was like my original uh, favorite, but I haven't really been keeping up with her recently too much. Because there's so many people to keep up with now. <laughs> um, but I am trying with her, but like I know she- I know Mori had um, her surgery recently, so she was- uh, She came back and then she went back on a little hiatus. I don't know if she's come back again. Actually, I suppose she has, because she was one of the- she was doing reaction streams, wasn't she? To the debuts. Um, so I suppose to at least some extent. But, yeah, I- I mostly- What I tend to do is I tend to watch clips and I'll sometimes pop in during, like, bigger streams for most of them. It's not that I don't want to watch them. Or that I don't enjoy them. I just I don't. I physically don't have time. She's the worst at going on higher. She's came back from this. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> she is particularly bad at taking a break. Um, which I mean, fat mood, <laughs> big fat mood. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I think Mari's the only one that I've actually ordered like merch of. Like, official merch, I mean. Um, it's like, I, I got her first album merch. Well, I got the poster. At least. I, I got the poster. <laughs> um, and then I got the Omo Cat. Or, and, I, and then I got the Myth Jumper. Um, with the Omo collab. But... I don't know. I'm I'm really bad at keeping up with them because I just I have my own shit to do. <laughs> but also because most of them stream at like really bad times for EU, which is what makes them, the new gen the new gen is so nice for that. Cause it's like oh my god, I can actually watch Rara. Holy shit! Uh, I remember when Iris debuted. I really wanted to watch her, but she streams at god awful times for EU. It's like that's just not happening. I I can't. <laughs> um, but I've actually I've I've put on my notifications for Rara. I'm like I'm gonna try. I'm going to try and keep up with one of them. I God I wanna. <laughs> I tried a bit with Shiori as well, but again it was the same situation of just not 
not great times um, for BST or GMT. <laughs> so it, it's nice to finally have a gen that's actually geared towards. It's actually geared towards us <laughs> for streaming times. That's nice. I am happy about that. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm doing my best. Okay, that's that's the girl shaded. I need to, I need to do the background. I'm probably gonna cheat a little with the background. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little bit uh kind of. Overwhelmed. Are they from the U? I know nothing about Ninja. Uh, most of them are, I think. Um, at least three of them are. I'm unsure about Gigi because she said in her stream, like she said, she said something that suggested she was from the UK because I think she said she was from Britain. But then, like everyone else is saying, like she's from the US, even within her gen. So I'm kind of confused on her. <laughs> uh, I don't know if she's just like moved about a bunch. It might be that she's currently based in the US. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, the rest of the new gen, yeah, they are from uh, the EU. Um, Rara is from Italy, although I think she's actually in Japan still. Um, I think. Which is fine. Um, so it still works. Um, uh, the Liz is from England, <laughs> and then uh, Cece is from Germany. Do they have accents, or do they put on different voices? They have accents. They've kept their accents. <laughs> um, some of them are lighter than others. Uh, Cece's, well, no, you you can kind of hear it. Um, you can hear it with most of them. I think Gigi's is the most difficult to tell. I couldn't really tell. With Gigi. Um, so I'm a bit confused on her. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but everyone else is in the EU. Uh, the other three are all in the EU. EU. Uh, actually, let me. Ugh, I don't know. This works actually. Like, Raura def Raura has the strongest um foreign accent. Like you can you can tell that she's Italian. <laughs> she doesn't hide it. Um she's actually done the exact opposite. She she has made it extremely clear. <laughs> um which is fair. Uh Cece's is kind of in the middle where you can you can kinda hear it, but like it's not it's like you kinda have to listen to it to place it. Um, cause, I mean, a German accent isn't the strongest, usually. Um, and I mean, Liz, you can definitely tell. <laughs> Liz, Liz is so British. <laughs> um, they all seem good fun. Um, I'm just like, I'm gonna pick one and I'm gonna try and keep up with one. <laughs> Because otherwise, it's, it's going to be a mess. <laughs> um, I remember I also, I wanted to keep up with Mumei, but it, it's again, like mo most of the other gens, like it's just, I physically can't keep up with their streams because they stream for American time zones. <laughs> so. It's, it's kind of nice now having um, a group that very does very specifically is made to cater to EU time zones. It's quite nice. <laughs> like for once, for once, I might be able to. Of course, it depends what I'm doing on like any given day, but like, it's easier than like, having to try and tune into a stream at 3 a.m., you know? <laughs> Can't do that every day. 
as much as I'm usually up at that time. Like, it's not really reasonable. Duolingo is giving me a, a reminder when I've already done it today. Gizmoi. Bitch. <laughs> uh, which texture should I use? Eh, good old Dapple Cloud. We like Dapple Cloud one in this house. This is. I said so. There we go. Then these ones. I didn't place on top of those, did it? No, I didn't. I'm just imagining a texture on top of them for some reason. Okay, sure. to do all the little highlights as well. Um... I don't even remember where this music is... where this music is from exactly. Within 14, that is. Must be a dungeon. Oh, maybe it's. Is it Great Google Library? Actually? No, it's the pillars. I was so off there. <laughs> I was incredibly off. Apparently, my network connection is being fucky, which. Bleh. Being a bit fucky today, to be fair. Um, hopefully, it doesn't give out. I would like for it to not give out completely. That would be nice.
There we go. I think we're nearly done. I think I just need to do like effects now. Yeah, pretty much. It was just effects. Yeah. Yippee. I like hard light. I like how hard light fits there. Oops. Oh, bit abrupt. Again. Do this one by one. I think that'll look better. It's great, thank you. We go when we go when we're nearly done with the side. There's the sex side. I still don't know if I want to do that now or if I want to do something else. Because I could start on an animated emo. Because <clears throat> I have an idea for one. Uh, what's that one? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn this down, by the way, don't worry. <laughs> I don't want that one. Maybe overlay is best. Like 50%? Hmm. And another multiplier. So I want to do individual uh, shading here. Just to make sure they're like standing out from each other a bit. They're not blending in too much. You're going to be at Acme in September? Yes, I am. I'm at, I'm going to be at Acme Autumn, yeah. Uh, as far as I'm aware, that's going to be the next con I'm going to be at, like, in general. Because um, I don't have any... I don't think I've applied for any that were before then. <laughs> um, I might also be at um, Comic-Con Edinburgh, but I'm not sure yet because I'm still waiting on confirmation. <laughs> uh, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, I can't say that with 100% certainty, because I could get rejected. I don't know. Um, but trying for that one. 
There's a, there's a few that I've applied for in October. Uh, and one in November as well. So I might be a bit busy. <laughs> I might lose my mind. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how things go. But yeah, I, I will be at Acme all them. Um, got my hotel booked and everything. Whoopee. Whoopee. What? what? <laughs> Yippee. Um, so that's where I'm hoping for this to be, uh, ready for. Along- ideally along with, uh, the other, uh, Ian fans. Aside from Hollow Stars, just because I- I cannot feasibly do all of them as well. <laughs> At the moment, anyway. Hopefully in the future. I would like to do the stars as well. But... We'll see. We'll see how much I can get done. <laughs> mm -hmm. It looks so foggy. Is it the one in every part? No, this is. Uh, Dundee was actually my first one, like, ever. Um, so I haven't done the one in Edinburgh before, but, um, my parents are from Edinburgh, so, like, I, I'm familiar. I, I don't think I've been to Edinburgh specifically before. Um, that being said, the main convention I always went to was, um, MCN Scotland before it became Acme. Um... But I'm so glad that we got back in plenty of time for some I know, I know. I was I was like, holy shit, I have four months to prep? Oh my god. <laughs> I was so glad because Oh my god. The the amount I had to get done just for Dundee. I my brain was breaking. Like I was starting from having nothing, so it was just like shit, shit, shit. I only have a month and a half. Uh, so I was panicking a little bit, <laughs> but having four months is so nice. I can like actually prep some stuff specifically for March. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, I think that's that done. I think. I don't know. It's really oh shit! <laughs> what did you get in here? <laughs> ah! <laughs> You're actually really um, quiet. Um, like a minute ago. Just compared to the music I've got here. Fuck okay, what did you join? Like like a minute or two ago, I think. Oh my! I didn't notice. <laughs> didn't I make said a noise. As a, as a... I didn't hear you. <laughs> I didn't want to bother you. You were in the middle of a, like a sentence. <laughs> I don't want to ruin no. it. I was like. I'll let Nabu finish. He scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Oops. I just, <laughs> I just heard. <laughs> I realized that it was your first con. I just assumed by your booth you were done more. Nope, that was my first time ever putting a booth together. <laughs> you did a great I got, job. I got told that a lot. I, I actually, I got a few separate people saying that. I was like, no, yeah, I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. I didn't. I just looked at what other people were doing. I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll put my things like that. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't even put the metal grids together before that point. <laughs> like, dead oh ass. My gosh. I hadn't practiced it. So I was like, uh, I have a vague idea of how to put them together. <laughs> no, um, it was. I don't know. I I looked at like a, how a bunch of people did their booths, so I I looked at a bunch of tips. I'm really hoping hoping you're not getting overpowered here. I might lower this. Actually, no, that's not going to help with you because you're also being captured by the audio output capture. <laughs> Double capture. Let's go. Uh, the ad's about to go again. Uh, let me. I should still have you here. Here you are. Uh, there I, can't, I, I physically can't put you any higher. It's okay. I can be small. 
I am uh, short, Mark, today. <laughs> You're quiet, Mark. You might be better off now. I just put the music really low. Um, I really wish uh, that application audio capture was working a bit better, maybe. But it doesn't seem to yeah. want to work. Uh, hold on, hold on. Say something. This is Mark speaking. Okay, it's working. Holy shit. Nice. Uh, can I get it to... Can I... Can I get another one of those in? Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> yeah. Capture that. No. I guess not. Wait, no. Hold on. No, that is capturing. Wait, that is working. It's just done it really confusingly. Why is the app- why is the third version of it below the first? When <laughs> at the sidebar, it's the other way around. <laughs> That's really confusing. Uh, okay, let me adjust your audio. Uh, speak. Keep speaking. This is the time where I normally eat a cookie. And today I'm having a lemon cookie. Okay, there we go. Sprinkles on it. I think we're. Oh, well, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it is pretty good. Okay, that should work. Uh, let me adjust the music again for myself <laughs> so I can hear it. I, I've I've had it where I've tried to do the application audio capture and it's just like fucking absolutely refused. Um. Okay, ad break over. There we go. <laughs> I was messing with audio while the ad break was on. Um, then it was my second bit. It was so thrown together because I forgot you had to do table stuff and not just make random <laughs> That's so that's so real. Um, I was very hyper aware of both because I was like, shit, I don't have anything. I don't know what I need for a table. Uh, so I did my best because. <laughs> uh, all the example tables I was looking at, they had like themes. I was like, shit, I guess I'll do a theme myself. <laughs> like, oh, I guess. Um, and like, my usual theme is uh, forests. Because, uh, you know, the Fae thing. Um, so I was like, yeah, okay, like, I'll just, I'll just do the same thing for my booth. <laughs> um, that made sense to me, so. I had to make new business cards as well because I had bu I have business cards I I had business cards beforehand but they were for animation industry stuff so it's like I should make separate <laughs> I should make separate yeah. business cards because um, that one it linked to my portfolio and it linked some of my social medias but it wasn't like geared towards like if you actually want to follow me for my art those it was more geared towards. Here's my portfolio stuff and how to contact me. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, where's my. Hello? Oh, that's a sketch. Uh. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need to, like, put this back into the template on, like, a separate thing. <laughs> uh, let me actually export this, um, as an image. PNG actually. Um Yippee. Yeah, um I don't know. It wasn't I will say it wasn't my first time selling things. I I've had plenty of experience like sitting at a table and selling things um in the past. Uh there we are. So, like, I wasn't new to that. Um, but I had an idea of how to set up a table, at the very least. Um, but yeah, I mean... Hmm. What I'll do is I want to do these first. Um, because I think I want to put... I want to make the back, like, a black... Just a black cover aside from these chibis, I think. Question mark? I like that idea. 
I think it, it'll be nice and simple and better than trying to work out colors. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I am on some level kind of glad that uh, Acme Dundee was quite quiet because it did, it did let me figure shit out. <laughs> Whereas I feel like if um, Acme Autumn had been my very first, I feel like I would have been freaking out a little bit. And I might not have been able to um, figure everything out quite so smoothly. I don't know. It was, it was kind of nice, in a sense, uh, to get a bit of like quiet while doing it. Also, to not get overwhelmed as well. Yeah. Because I am- Lord knows I am prone to that. I need to get Morty's wrap up. Uh, over here. Hey, mm. why you play Maui? Not casual outfit this time. This cowie. God, I wish those were less low res. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, now I know more people who are also going to be going to Acme Autumn, so I'm, you know, got connections now, which is nice and neat and cool. Nice. To have people I know and, like, there's actually, like, a semi-decent chance of, like, seeing kind of regularly if I keep up the co the convention thing. <laughs> like, oh my god. Knowing people in real life, that's crazy. That's crazy to me. <laughs> I say as if I'm not part of- I'm not still part of my university society. <laughs> But, yeah, so it's like, Ac Acme Dundee is like, it's my practice for getting a table together and selling things in the first place. And Acme Autumn is going to be my little trial run of going somewhere else to do it. <laughs> <laughs> also, quite until the cosmic contest, I felt so bad having to get everyone to repeat things. Oh yeah, yeah, it got so loud. Um, it got real loud there, I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, like... It's, it happens, um, especially like because it was a, it wasn't the biggest of halls, so like everything just echoed, you know. Which I mean, good for them, I suppose. <laughs> Less <laughs> ideal for uh, tables. I can't draw a line right now. What the fuck. Draw the line. Draw the line. Draw the line. Yeah, I mean, so Acme Autumn's gonna be fun to try out. Um, no guide dog this time because uh, my flatmate's gonna be staying behind. I'm bringing my brother instead, so unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Rodney got so much attention. Holy shit, he was loving it. <laughs> he was spending more time with other people than he was with us. <laughs> um,. There was this one kid who uh, came up like a good few times and very nicely, like, it, it, this was actually really good of this kid. He was asking if he could pet and like, Rodney was off work, but it was like, okay, it's really good actually that you're doing that. And this is like a maybe eight year old kid or something. We are like, damn, that's, that's pretty good. Whoever's taught him that. <laughs> like, he, he came up, it was very cute, he came up like a good few times. Um, just be like, can I pet your dog? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, he's not working, so that's fine. Um, yeah, it, it was quite funny because um, Rodney was behind our stall. He was supposed to be underneath, but he wasn't really wanting to go underneath, and we weren't gonna like force mm. him under. Um, so like he was underneath for a little bit, but for the most part, he was just behind us, like in the where it was really cramped, and he just at one point like 
went to like the furthest extent his leash would allow into the stalls, <laughs> like her neighbors. <laughs> I was just oh. hanging out, getting attention from them. <laughs> <laughs> so that was quite funny. Um, oh, I I think I mentioned it uh, in our Discord, but I obviously haven't talked about it on stream. Um, <laughs> one of the funniest things that happened. Uh, during Dundee was um, there was this little girl who came up uh, it was in like the last couple of hours of the convention and she came up and she was basically like going through her death like I want a sticker like very quietly this was like a probably seven year old girl or something like that around there she was very young <laughs> and I was crying laugh I, I was trying not to laugh um, but internally I was crying laughing because basically, like, her dad was basically like, okay, you can get a sticker. And she was like, she was ruffling, because I had like a little pot of stickers. Um, and the first one <laughs> that she decided on <laughs> was Gail from BG3. Uh -huh. She does not know what Baldur's Gate 3 is, mind you. She just picked a random big, <laughs> this chibi of a random bearded man who she did not know from a game that was definitely not appropriate for her age. <laughs> and her dad... Like, both her dad and I had, like, this exasperated, like, shared glance, um, where he, he very exasperatedly was like, are you sure? And I don't know, like, for the sake of not, of her poor parents not having to deal with this random sticker of, of this bearded man from a game she did not know. Uh, I pointed out a different sticker, which is of um, a D and D O C who's um, very pink and cutesy. I was like, you could go for that one instead, and she ended up going for that one, um, which mm. I feel like a little bad about. But I think for the sake of her parents, <laughs> for their sanity, probably for the best. <laughs> I mean, her dad gave her the option, so it was her choice in the end. But I was like. <laughs> I'm, when I was talking to my mom about it, she was like, well, next time you could, um, you could try making some more kid-friendly stickers. I was like, I had kid-friendly stickers in there. She went from the bearded man. <laughs> like, oh, bad. she was like, oh, you, you could, like, make some unicorn stickers or something. I was like, I don't think it would have mattered. I'm gonna be so for real. <laughs> she, her first choice was Gale. Out of all the stickers I had, when like I had Pokemon stickers, I had even Digital Circus stickers. Like, I was like, why? Why? Gail? Gail's the man. <laughs> I was just like, huh? <laughs> um, so I've come to the conclusion that I don't understand kids. <laughs> Just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> sure. I won't bother with the transparency just for a gif. Do, 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 do. I don't know how long I want to stream tonight. I don't want to go for a while, but at the same time, I don't want to keep my mom awake. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, um, because it's not, not exactly soundproof. Um, I might just get a bit quieter and move my mic closer, though. I think she's already asleep. Um, or at least like trying to. I'm sure if she, um gets annoyed she'll text me. <laughs> okay, sure. She's done that before. She has done that before, like genuinely. It's funny my stuff scared me scared me. I don't have anything that's like explicit, but I kind of panic being like, do you know who that is? Yeah, no, I kind of I I was very much like <laughs> throwing a bone for that dad. <laughs> Cause because I could see he looked quite exasperated by that. <laughs> um but I don't know. I, I feel like if it's... I don't know. 
I, I kind of like let them do whatever. I don't. I don't think they care who a character is. Just like I have Pokemon stuff in there, <laughs> like very obviously. Um, I had the autism creature stuff as well, which I mean, it wouldn't been funny too, would have been funny. Um, I don't think it would have mattered, but I don't think she was going for that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it was just like okay, <laughs> what? <laughs> what a choice. What an he made her choice, and then I subverted it for the sake of that poor dad. <laughs> if she had chosen like any other sticker, I probably wouldn't have um, bothered. Like even within the BG3 ones, but it's just because, like Kale in particular, it was like a little odd. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'd normally do that, but <laughs> it was just quite funny. And just my mom's reaction of like, oh, you should have more kid-friendly stickers. Was like, I had kid-friendly stickers. She just didn't care about them. The kid won. Act me, I'm 100% running to your autism creature stuff. God, I, I know for a fact I'm gonna have to like get a bunch more of those ones in particular because like, even those ones just go, man. I I want to do some more as well. Um. I'm just like, fucking shit, Jesus, I didn't expect them to do this well. <laughs> um, so like the one keychain I'm probably gonna have to restock. Um, probably, anyway. Um, so I might, I might do some, like a couple of extra designs for it as well. Because they are cute to draw. <laughs> Just like, oh my god. The amount of people had walking past my table, pointing them out and going, yippee! Was like, <laughs> oh my god. I, it was like, I knew, I knew people were gonna want them, but I didn't realize the extent. <laughs> so funny though. It was like, those are, I think those overall sold the best out of like all of my stuff, even at Dundee. I mean, like within the limits of the Dundee stuff, because it was quite quiet, but like... Holy shit. <laughs> That's just funny to me. It's like, I believe it was like, I sold... I think I sold two of uh, the soda one, and... No, it was... I sold a soda one, and I sold two or three of the um, drawing one. And then God knows how many of the stickers. I wasn't really keeping count of them. <laughs> um, it was just like, shit, okay, those are gonna go. And even with like the online shop as well, like, they're, even with like three orders, like, it's already the one that in some fashion has gone the most. It's like, okay, geez. I see. <laughs> So yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to look at restocking. Um, my main thing is uh, right now I want to make sure I order everything in one go. Um, because shipping costs, <laughs> of course. Right. Um, as much as uh, customs is not much kinder, but you know at least if I'm ordering everything in one go, I'm not having to pay both shipping and multiple. Custom charges. True. Oh, it's, it's a little bit nicer. I could probably technically do uh, pins of these little chibis as well. I don't think I'd want to do keychains because that would. By the time I've done all of them, I think that would be a little too much. But... Yeah, I don't know. 
It's like, it's really trying to balance things in my head because I spent so much for Acme Dundee, albeit on stuff that I still have to sell um, and stuff that I won't need to buy again. I was just like, oh, okay, let's not do that much again. <laughs> Apparently designing my first acrylic charms as I watched, I was like so happy with the prices of all I saw the shipping. Yeah, it's the shipping. It's the shipping that always gets you. Um I don't know. I I personally decided to go with Faux Grace, um, despite the shipping. Um just because they do do the bulk discounts, which is quite nice. Um but Zag is also good. I they're just a bit more expensive. Uh, on the production side, but like the shipping is a lot cheaper, you know. But yeah, international shipping prices are a fucking nightmare, and I hate them. <laughs> They're awful, honestly. Uh, right now, but tease what it is. It is. Yeah, it's why the shipping costs tend to become less awful overall when you're ordering in bulk, but then you do have to keep track of... Then you have to worry about customs charges, because they're really mean about customs charges. Um, I had the funny silly thing of um, when I got my customs charges, the taxes! It's the taxes on them that get you, actually. Um, because, like, the actual customs charge is, like, 11 quid or something, 10 quid, and then the customs charge, the, the taxes are, like, 40 quid. And then FedEx is like, um, we paid this off, uh, without asking you first, so, um, actually you need to give us another 10 pounds for us doing that. Jesus. So it's like, okay, well, fuck you, I didn't ask for that, but go off. <laughs> That is crazy. Like, well, maybe you should have told me and I would have paid the customs charges initially. Or like, fuck. Yeah, you know, it, it gets a little rough. Um, I will say, if if you order your acrylic keychains in a smaller batch, you are, they're probably not gonna do customs charges. I didn't get them on my smaller batches. Uh, it was when I had a big box of them. <laughs> <laughs> because I bought them in bulk. Um, I did get customs charges, but it also made the shipping less awful overall. Um, so yeah. I mean, not that the shipping was like super cheap, because it was still around like 30 quid, but then it was like, it was for a big old box. So like, okay, that tracks. Well, it wasn't like a massive box, but it made it like around the same. Um, as between like fast shipping and um, normal shipping, <laughs> it was like a pound each or something, a pound difference. So, I don't know. I'm still figuring it out, but I, I personally was like, yeah, okay, sure. Um, so I'm probably gonna order everything in bulk, I think. I think that's my plan. But, but I don't know, maybe I'll just- maybe I'll do like the keychains and pins together and then do the, um, and then maybe I'll do the, uh, whatchamacallit? The notebooks together. I don't know, I haven't fully decided yet. I don't know, it's a lot of stuff. Um, at, at a certain point, I think I'll probably get to a point where um, I'm mostly just working in a rotation of what I'm bringing, so I don't have to worry as much about making yeah. new stuff. Um, and right now it's already like I can just focus on getting new stuff because I don't have- I think the only thing I do need to stock up more of is the autism creature keychains just because. 
of how much those seem to go. <laughs> um, because like I'm looking at how many I have, and I'm looking at the fact that it's a two-day con, and it's a big con as well. It's like those would go in like the first half. Like the, there's a very real possibility of them just disappearing within the first half of the first day. <laughs> I'm like, mm, maybe I should order at least like another ten or so of each. <laughs> I mean, that'd be good if it does go. It would. Um, that would be good for me. Um, because I mean, you know, five pounds per acrylic keychain, and then I earn like twenty of each. That's a pretty decent amount. You know. Maybe yep. upward, maybe up to like 30 more so, because I, I technically have, I think it's like 15 and 14 right now of each one. Um, and I, yeah, so it'd be more like 25 of each. Um, I think is reasonable for, uh, Autumn. And then just make sure I have enough stickers <laughs> as well. <laughs> I think I gotta turn this a little bit because I keep leaning over to the side and it's not catching my face. Um, that might be a bit better. Now, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I, I keep I keep leaning over because EP. Me too. There we go. Hopefully that should work. Yeah. Um, acrylic charms are fun. I, I they do. And sell quite well, I think. Because uh, people like acrylic charms. People like pins and charms. Um, and it's like, I can't necessarily afford to do any more sets of acrylic charms, just because they, they do rack up um, after a certain point. But uh, I want to do uh, wood pins, is like the next thing I want to do some. I do enamel, but enamel is just... Enamel is really expensive. Um, because they have a high order quality. Or a high high minimum order quantity. Um, with Bow Grace. At least. Uh, other places probably have them cheaper, but I haven't found like a manufacturer. Aside from all the ones that keep spamming my fucking DMs. <laughs> I was about to say badges are my best sellers, but they have like 70% badges on the table. <laughs> yeah, that would do them. <laughs> that that would do that. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to have a variety. I, I might do some... Because um, I have a 3D printer, so I might do some 3D printed badges. Um, but my 3D printing skills are not the best right now, so... I don't know. Uh, I don't know how well I'd be able to do that, you know. I mean, I managed it with the keychains, but I don't know if I'd want to go through that hell again. <laughs> um, for quite as big a set, you know. Oh, add soon again. It be. Pretty god twitch, I swear. <laughs> I don't know, I'll guesstimate that shape. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. Keychains did seem to do pretty well over overall. I mean, people like keychains. I mean, obviously prints sell as well. Prints are prints. Prints will always sell. Um, but I like having a good variety of things. Um, I have thought about doing um, some like tote bags. But I don't know if I want to go I through the I effort. Do. I don't. I don't know how willing I. I don't know how it's gonna shake out like price wise. 
um, whether it's better to self-print or if it's better to get printed by, uh, like, Vogue Race or something. So, I don't know. It's his own little thing. Um, like, same with t-shirts, I suppose. There's a lot of stuff I can technically do, you know? Right. But how much time and money I have is <laughs> another it's thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, but of course, you can also only sell what you have. That, that's like the main thing I'm trying to keep in mind um, with the stuff I'm making. There's an ad break going right now, also. If, um... Ad break. Ad break. Yippee. Ad break, 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 break. Ad break. Um, the, the main thing I'm like trying to keep in mind is you can only. There's like the best bit, bit of advice I've seen. I think I literally just saw it on Reddit. But you can only sell as much as you have. Is the thing. You know, you can't sell things you don't have. Right. Um. So it's like, as much as you shouldn't, like, overprint, because then you're, like, risking not selling things. Which, I mean, for me, I personally think that's fine, because it's like, then, well, then I just have stock left over for next time that I don't have to spend money reprinting. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you can only sell as much as you have. That's the thing. Uh, I'm kind of mad because I will probably be back at uni the same week as Acme, but if I'd been a little later, I could have had access to the screen printing rooms for toes. Ugh. Yeah. No, that's annoying. Um, I'm quite- I, I'm in a fairly decent position where, as far as, like, having the materials to self-print things. I have a 3D printer, I have a 2D printer, and I have a Cricut. It's a Cricut join, mind you, but I, I know how to force it to do what I want. <laughs> right. So, like, it saves a lot of money uh, in the long term, um, because I'm not having to ship as much. <laughs> um... And, you know, it's a lot cheaper, because there's no, like, extra third party for those things. Um, so it's just... It's, like, the only things I'm having to pay for are, like, the supplies. And my time, <laughs> I suppose. Um... But, I mean, yeah, I have access to screen printing stuff, but I do have access to uh, some level of vinyl cutting. Uh, so that's that's one of the options for totes. You can use vinyl, but it does it does make it a bit limited. First thing I got with Rikon money was a cricket. I love it so much. My hands got to actually rest in real. Uh, yeah, I. I I got given the Cricut Joy by my mom because she got a Cricut Explorer. Not an Explorer. She got a Cricut Maker. Uh, she got a Cricut Maker 3, which is just objectively better. Nice. <laughs> so I got her uh, Cricut Joy, which is fun enough to me. Uh, I it just It's just a little bit more effort to make stickers. Because uh, you kind of have to force it a little bit. Because it's not... You're not supposed to make stickers on a Cricut Joy. Okay. A cricket joy. Uh, a cricket joy is only supposed to cut. You can't print and cut. Um, let me turn it down a little bit. <laughs> it's loud in my ear and it's distracting me. Um, 
Yeah, you're you're only supposed to be able to cut with a cricket toy, but you can you can set up a file to print and cut with an Explorer three. Um, if if you have you just make boxes the size of what a cricket toy can handle, and you print them, and then you switch it back to cricket toy to cut, <laughs> and you can force it. <laughs> Um, you're not supposed to be able to do this. And I hope they never fucking fix it, because it's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This hacks. <laughs> And I, I was actually- the funny thing was, like, my mom had figured out a way to do it, and then I figured out an even faster way to do it. Because the way she was doing it was kind of the same, except she had actually, like... She had registered, uh, her friend's Cricut Explorer. Um, because, like, Cricut- the Cricut app does this thing where... If you don't physically own a Cricut, and you try to make it directly from the file, it won't let you until you register that kind of cricket. Really? Yeah, they, they really try to block it off. But, I found out by accident. Uh, because, like, we were having the, the issue of, like, because I wasn't about to, like, be dragged to uh, this family friend's house just to register a cricket in my laptop. Um, I found that if I... <laughs> If I exited out of the file after making it and saving it and went back in, but instead of going into the file itself, just clicking make from the select screen, I was able to print them and cut from there. <laughs> okay. Um, which you're not supposed to be able to do, but it's none of their fucking business. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, silly, goofy cheats. <laughs> cheats, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I hope they never fix that. Um, so smart. I found it out by accident. <laughs> because I was, I was uh, just, I was literally, I found it out by moving around the app and I misclicked into doing that. I was like, wait a minute. I don't have to register a Cricut Explorer. I can do it like this because there's an oversight <laughs> the fucking fools i break the fucking rules all the time i did this <laughs> i also break the rules with my printer <laughs> uh because i i modded some cartridges to make them refillable when it's not supposed to be because <laughs> they can't stop me so I save a lot of money on ink now. <laughs> Breaking the laws of creativity mm. by making machines do more than they're meant to. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was um, a fun discovery. It's it's still annoying um, working with the Cricut Joy over like the Cricut Maker Three. The Cricut Maker Three is like objectively better for stickers, but the Joy works fine enough. Like it's not the main thing with the Joy is like uh, it has a lot more uh, issues with cutting just because. Um, you do have to be very precise with aligning it because there, it doesn't have uh, a cut line reader. So it it can't read where you're supposed to be cutting from. Um, so you, you just kind of have to align it and hope for the best. Make sure you've done everything correctly. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, mark my words, I will find ways to cheat the system when I need to. 
I cannot be stopped. They cannot. They simply cannot. Kiwawa. Takanoshi. Kiwawa. Show me the default outfit, please, purple water. Here we go. Yeah, it's just... You know, when you don't want to spend extra money unnecessarily, you find a way. I'm, I'm good at forcing programs to do what I want. <laughs> I think it's one of my best skills. Um, I'm so good at cheating the system. as being like, I will not buy another program. Do what I want, even when you're not supposed to. <laughs> My number one skill in life. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I do sometimes... I do know when there's a point to admit defeat and just get like the specific thing, but like by God, I will try. Try, when it, try, try again. When it comes, that's more so when it's like physical objects, where it's like sometimes they physically can't do something. But when it comes to programs, I'll find a way. Programs can be manipulated to do things. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is? Oh, it's Dusk Vigil. Of course. Oops, that's not what I meant to put up. Uh, that's what I meant to pull up. <laughs> I miss having a fourth monitor. I managed to get three here, but... <laughs> I couldn't feasibly bring four monitors to my parents' house. <laughs> I mean, one, one of these was already kind of a stretch to get here in the first place, honestly. Because, um... Two of my three monitors, um, like my three actual monitors, um, they can't very easily be taken apart, um, with the stand. Um, one of them can. That one's really easy, so that's like my go-to bring. But the other two, like, I have to physically screw in and out. To take the stand off, which is really annoying. Um, so it was really just like, a, okay, well I'll take the good one. Like one of them's the shitty one that came with a dead pixel and off colors. <laughs> that I mostly just use for my Discord uh, to have up. Oh, I want to play 14, but uh, I can't. Mm. I hate it here. Oh, how dare there have to be a maintenance for a new expansion. Sob, sob. <laughs> Uh, wow, a head shape. How? I miss Kiwawa's two hats. I didn't really wear them on stream anymore. 
Then you're so cute. Everyone stops wearing their hats. It's sad. I think that's very sad. Hat doko. And Cuella's not earrings here. Mm. <clears throat> I need another drink of water. My voice is getting kind of raspy. <laughs> Water time. Water. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I am very much looking forward to. Back me on them. It's been. I don't think I've actually been to that convention since. Or like what it used to be, anyway. Uh, the original version of it. Um, since. Uh, before the pandemic started. Um, which is fun. I used to go to it every year, but. Uh, life happened. <laughs> Yeah. But I've graduated uni now, so I don't have that to worry about, and I'm kind of just focusing on... It's like, as long as I'm working at the convention, I can go. <laughs> and then buy, like, next to nothing for myself, because I don't have that much money. I allow my- I- I did allow myself to buy, like, two things at, uh, Dundee. And that was it. It was just like, okay, no, that's it. <laughs> I'll get myself one Uriange print and then one Alpha pin. My stream's quiet, but after the word got out, it was replacing Comic Con Skull and it really got busy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it was it was such a weird situation. Like, it was Comic Con Scotland and then it wasn't. And then everyone was like, huh? Because. <laughs> I don't remember if there's any like official announcements on it. It just kind of happened. Um, but yeah, I mean, like it's it's pretty much the same convention at this point. So I guess like the successor uh, clout, I suppose. <laughs> um, but I don't know how it is compared to how MCM ran it. You know. Um, I'm assuming it's kind of similar. Um, but I don't know. Although, what what struck me uh, when I was looking at conventions to apply to, because I remember, um, like last year there was Rikon Winter, and there was like for a few years, but then there there hasn't. There's no Rikon Winter. Uh, up this year, so I, I don't know what, what's going on there. I don't know if it's because they're doing the toy fest thing instead, or what. I, I was like trying to find anything on it because they just they didn't really say anything. Um, I was kind of surprised by it. Um, because I, I applied a little too late for 
uh, Rikon unless I wanted to get an emergency table, which was not reasonable when I didn't have anything. It's like I can maybe do that like now that I have merch as like a baseline, but not like at time um, with those spare tables. Um, I would like to go to Rikon though. It seems fun. I know that Raycon I just straight up asked, so it's basically just a test year since they changed the venue to the SEC, which is a lot bigger than the last one. Ah, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize they weren't at the SEC before. I thought they were. Um, but okay, that makes sense. That that makes sense that that's the reason then. I mean, it seemed like uh, the normal summer Raycon went pretty well, so. But th that does make sense. Next year we'll likely have to. That makes sense. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> That tracks. It seems like this year both Monopoly events and uh, Acme are doing quite a lot of testing things out, huh? Because um, I know Monopoly events, um, the current system they have going for app applying is a new one. Um, compared to whatever the hell they were doing before. <laughs> so it seems like both are trying out a lot of new... It was very busy. Rise usually quieter, but it was really good sales-wise. So. Oh, that's good to know. I, I was, I did apply for Rikon this year. I just, I applied really late, so, yeah, it wasn't, it was not in the cards. But, um, I'm, I'm doing, I'm checking Facebook quite a lot just to make sure I catch when uh, applications are going out for both Monopoly and uh, Acne, so that. You know, I can keep on top of it and apply early because you you have a better chance when you apply earlier. But yeah, um, I have also I've applied for Kokorocon, but I don't know, I don't know about that one. <laughs> um, I did apply early early for it, so I don't know, but. That one seems kind of weird. <laughs> Not in like a bad way, it's just, it, it's very different from Monopoly and Acme. I was kind of shocked when I was looking at it, because, um... You know, they, they're ex the tickets for it are really expensive. They're like 70 pounds for a standard ticket, right? Um... And... It's weird, because... The wild part to me is that they've already sold out for tickets for next year. <laughs> you hear this one. Um, yeah. You heard that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> got very confused. Got a badge on Facebook for being the top fan of Calm purely because of me keeping an eye on it. <laughs> Oops. I feel like that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think next year I'm gonna be keeping more of an eye on those uh, anime and cosplay cons I keep getting ads for. It's just because I don't know. They're they don't have any applications out for any cons that I want to sign up for. So probably not this year. Probably next year. <laughs> um, and I I didn't I didn't know about Sunny Con like existing until. I was at Acme Dundee because people kept mentioning like, oh yeah, SunnyCon's next week. I was like, what the fuck is SunnyCon? I didn't hear about that one. <laughs> but I guess I th I think that one's quite a new one, isn't it? So, I mean, that tracks. But yeah, Coco Con fucking... I was shocked looking that one up. So I was like, what the... It, huh? Like, £70 for a standard ticket, but sold out a year ahead of time. Like, a full year ahead of time. What? What the that's fuck? Crazy. That was, like, that's insane. What? They call applications are Friday. I'm really hoping to get in. Wait, again? Are they? Wait, are they, are they doing multiple conventions? I thought it was just the one that was last weekend. Like, I thought they were just doing yearly ones. Shit, I'll have to pay attention to that. 
Huh. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I I'm really trying to like get familiar with a lot more cons because I'm really only familiar with the Monopoly and um, Acme ones. I, I, I feel like it's a lot harder to find all the other ones because they get a lot more scattered past those guys. And MCM, I suppose, but they're English-based at this point. It's gonna happen at the weekend, but the application's open pretty much right after- Oh, okay! Shit! <laughs> for next year? Or is that for another one for this year? That's- I'll have to pay attention to that. I did follow their page. I, or like it, or whatever. I don't know. But I'll have to pay attention. Keep an eye out. I'm gonna hop off so I can get ready for bed. I'm tired. Oops, oops. For next year. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Have a good one. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Whoopee. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm still like looking into it. Like, just. There's so many cons I've just never heard of, even though they're like decently sliced. <laughs> I'm like, huh? Um, yeah, I, I want to try and fill out my schedule for next year. Um, you know, like, I, I, I do want to try and make it work. Uh, there's two sunny cons, the big one and Chibi Sunny, but I'm not sure if Chibi's worth it unless you look close. That makes sense. I'll have to look into it. Um, if it is, like, actually smaller overall, I, I think it depends on how quiet it is like how how new is the con because like i feel like even smaller cons can be pretty decent like once they're running for a few years but it does depend i mean with conventions i suppose like the whole thing is like you you try and do the big conventions and then that'll even out the smaller, quieter conventions that need time to get established. Yeah. This is, it's like the first couple of years of any convention are going to be a bit quieter just because of, you know, how it works. And that's pretty natural. But. And I mean, I know. Monopoly is like they kind of limit how many traders they have at smaller conventions because they know um, having more traders means that uh, traders will lose out on more money as well. Oh, which is fair. Like they they made a post about that I think um, the other day about uh, Yorkshire uh, Yorkshire Comic Con. It was like their first year, um, which makes sense. He hides Mark because he's gone now. Because they're gone now. <laughs> they're dead! Uh. <laughs> why, why, why is your thing so complicated? Just go to the so I wasn't sure myself, but Sunnycon started in 2010. Damn, I've never heard of it. <laughs> until recently. Well, I might have heard of it in passing. I don't know. I suppose I, I wasn't too paying too much attention to conventions that I wasn't, like, going to. <laughs> but yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to get a better grasp on what conventions I can feasibly apply to. The chibi one is new this year, though. That makes sense. Um, I mean, hopefully... I, I suppose, like, you give it time to get established, you know. Um, but yeah, it, it might not, with being, like, new traders, it's probably not the most worth it. I don't know. Yeah, like, un unless you're living close, probably, like, in the first year, not so much. Maybe in the next couple of years. Um, maybe I'll get a bit more. A bit more established. 
and become more worth it. <laughs> also depends on location as well um it's like because i feel like it's a bit easier to get established in you know bigger cities as well but i mean i don't know yeah it's, it usually takes a couple of years um i'm hoping next year i can get into oh for fuck's sake at break god damn it That'll be what disappeared. Um, I'm hoping for decon next year. I was hoping for it this year, but mm -hmm. those applications, man. I only play to Ryan Act because I want Ryan ones I knew. Should I wait for the advert to end? <laughs> I'll give it a moment. Um, I only play to Ryan Act me because I wanted to try the ones I knew, but ooh, Decon is so tempting once I work out the form. Yeah, um, it's. Well, I mean, I've been going not not tabling. Um, I I I wanted to try and get in like this year, but the tables just went so fast um, because they they just did it like straight up, like buying a table because uh, they didn't expect it to. I I know the person who does the social media because uh, she was one of my classmates because um, I I went to Dundee University, um, and so like I actually do know people who. Uh, do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, she was like, yeah, I, I, I managed to stay open like four weeks last year and then uh, this year they just went in like eight hours uh, and we didn't expect it, so oops. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I would like to table there because like that's that's my home con essentially <laughs> um like my actual home convention um it would be nice to uh get into it but i don't know i don't know if they're that's what sucks about staying in Edinburgh. we don't get anything cool like that yeah Edinburgh is i have reasons why i didn't study in Edinburgh. <laughs> Even though I grew up here, I have my reasons. <laughs> um, that was not one of them inherently, but like, yeah. Um, I will say, <laughs> Decon is like internally a little bit of a hot mess just because it's ran by students and uh, Dusa is unhelpful. <laughs> um,. That's, yeah, it, it's a bit, it's a little messier than probably most cons are, because it's not professionals running it. Um, but, I mean, they're doing their best, and they they managed to put it together pretty well, so. Like, I, I've gone the past couple of years. Um, I stewarded at, at uh, a couple of years ago, um, and then I just, like, attended as a normal attendee uh, this year. Because I didn't, 
apply for studying because I thought I was gonna be like stalling and then I wasn't able to guess all. <laughs> um, so you know, it'd be how it'd be. But decon's fun. Um, but yeah, they the, those tables went crazy last year. Um, I do hope they uh, do a better application for next year. Um, and what they've been doing so far because it's not gonna work now that it's a bit bigger um but you know lessons learned all the vendors i've spoken to say it's a really fun con and it's worth it so they must be doing something right yeah it is a good con um it's, it's got good vibes um i think is it it was a little bit of a mess this year as well but it was that wasn't like their fault um that was because uh the union building is uh collapsing in on itself so <laughs> they weren't allowed to really use that building uh to the same extent as previous years so they kind of had to work out like they had basically less space for vendors as well this year because they, they couldn't like expand um expand the amount of room they had to get extras in. <laughs> so, you know. Um, but it is a very fun con. Um, apparently not as profitable as it used to be in terms of, like, vendors, but I think that's, like, a universal thing, just, like, post-pandemic with conventions, because, you know, financial crisis and what have you. <laughs> um... But yeah, I mean, go crazy. Yeah, I hope I hope they. Um, I hope Mary. I, actually, I don't know if she's doing it next year. I'm assuming she will. Um, it seems like she's just kind of. She's graduated and she was still doing it this year, so I don't know. Um, I don't know her plans. Um, but if she's still doing it. Uh, next year, I do hope she kind of uh, tries to work out a better application process for uh, tables <laughs> rather than just absolute first come first served, you know? Um, make it a little bit fairer to get in. But, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask her about it at some point. Because uh, I, I would really like a table, albeit Kokoro Khan is around the same time period next year, so I'm like, mm. I really hope they don't align it um, to the same weekend. I really hope they don't. Um, cause that, might be, that might get real awkward. <laughs> but, no, it is a very good con. Um, especially considering, like... How unhelpful Deuce is about it. <laughs> um, they're good peeps. Um, I mean, you know, as much as I have my issues with Dundee University, um, you know, the students that run it, or past students, depending, it's a lot of both. Um, but, like, the people running it do, actually. They're, they're very nice, and they're chill, and I'm classmates with- or I was classmates with at least one of the current ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're very cool. So, even though I haven't personally tabled there, I do recommend, uh, Econ. They had um they had a wrestling thing this year as one of the events. I think I had it last year as well, but I didn't um I, I didn't go see it because you know I was either in the artist alley areas or I was uh stewarding, so I was mostly kinda sectored off within um uh one building. <laughs> I remember that year as well because they were running a gaming section, which I, I don't think they did this year. Um, but 
because of the building issues. Uh, they didn't have space for it. Um, I think. I don't think so, anyway. I didn't see it. Um, they might have. I don't know. Maybe I didn't see it. But I remember a couple of years ago, they, they had to ask uh, people for help uh, with unlocking Smash characters on, like, 20 separate Switches. <laughs> Uh, with, a, like, a week of the con, and I was like, um, that's a lot. <laughs> uh, I didn't personally help with that, but I remember it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, but they do work very hard. Um, especially the students that help on it, because a lot of them are fourth-year students as well, so, like, they, they're spending a lot of their spare time, uh, working away at it, you know? Ina, 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 Ina. Ina, my Ina, this. <coughs> oh, you know who I meant. Shush. I think after I get this uh, done, that'll probably be it. I think, which I don't know. I don't know. It'll take like another hour or something, something like that. I might end with the line art and do all the coloring stuff off stream. I don't know. I'm not too tired right now, to be honest. I, I can keep going for a while. But I'm just trying to keep it down at this point. Because, uh, my bedroom here is not soundproofed. <laughs> oh, wait. I just realized I won't be able to stream on the first. At least they remember the time. <laughs> yeah, at least they remember the time. Uh, is my internet going wackadoo? It uh, might be. Maybe I should finish up soon. I hate it here. <laughs> Can't stream for shit. Who has a day for selling original art, but the atmosphere isn't quite what I enjoy, but that's gonna burn for you. Yeah, that's... Yeah, there, there's a few, like, crafters markets and stuff uh, in Edinburgh. But... Yeah, they're not necessarily quite on the same level as pawns. <laughs> I feel like they're a lot more geared towards, like, handmade stuff, you know? Um... You know, people who do, like, crochet or, I don't know, metalwork, jewelry making, metalwork, whatever. More so than, like, printmaking. <laughs> um, a lot of the time. But yeah, that's Edinburgh for you. I'm familiar. <laughs> I grew up here, so... <laughs> I'm aware. I know. Believe me, I know. <laughs> My internet's really crapping out right now. Oh god, yeah. That's quite behind. Oof. Why is my internet doing that? Don't do that. 
Blech. Even with the better connection stuff they've got going, still unstable. It's been acting up today, actually, in general. I don't know what's up with my parents' Wi Fi. <laughs> Probably just finish up uh, some of this line art and then I'm probably head off if my internet's gonna be whacking out like that. Kind of rude of it. Mm -hmm. The book. book. <laughs> it was in just so she didn't look naked behind the book. <laughs> I don't want to do all the quick details, but ugh. internet suddenly just like no what the fuck okay I might I might end early then oh, quote unquote early that's four hours in but <laughs> Ugh, I might have to because it's just not it's just not cooperating right now that's annoying that's really annoying that's really annoying. I don't like that. Hmm. God, how much is it doing that? Shit. Ooh, that's frustrating. Mm. 
I'm gonna finish off Ina at least. But... Uh... Fuck, man. Me. Exit the Discord chat. <laughs> Maybe that's not helping. Maybe it'll speed up a little bit. What is going on? What is happening? Why is the internet just not cooperating? Excuse me. <laughs> just decided not. <laughs> That's really annoying. Okay. Um. If it's gonna be doing that, I guess I'll finish up now, cause. Pfft, by God, it's not gonna get any better right now. That's so annoying. <laughs> it's not even my stamina, it's the fucking internet. What the hell? <laughs> You're gonna head to bed. If it's nice catching one of your streams, hopefully I'll be here again. If not, see you. Okay, yeah, see you later. You're. Oh, well, this is probably gonna stream well after. <laughs> Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, shit, that's, that is... Oof. Not cooperating. Okay. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I'm gonna finish up. <laughs> if only because the internet is not cooperating at all whatsoever. Um, yeah. I guess... Thank you for coming. If you came for a little bit or a lot of it, either way, I appreciate it. Uh, see you at some point? Maybe tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Bye-bye!